Hey guys, it's me Marty and welcome back to Glam with Marty. So tonight, today is my birthday. Today's my actual birthday, not like it's coming up in a couple days, not what I would have done for my birthday like I did a couple years ago. I'll put cards for that up there, but my actual birthday is today. So for this to celebrate on my YouTube channel, I decided to do a face full of favorites. So all of my absolute favorite products I'm wearing right now today. Um, there are a couple things that just didn't, like, there's not stuff that blows my mind. Like, my eyebrows, I didn't really show y'all that because there's just no, I do my eyebrows all the time, but there's just nothing that blows my mind. So every single product that I use today, I'm going to list down below. I'm going to take you through step-by-step -step of my beauty routine and show you my favorite thing on each step of my beauty routine. Um, so that you guys can check out my favorites. Also, this shirt. I know I'm always linking people down below, but this one is really, really special because my cousin actually has a business where she makes sure she does a bunch of things, but she makes shirts. And um, so she made this one for me. So I'm going to link her down below. If you guys are ready to check out all of my favorites, all the things that I love the most on this most joyous of birthdays, you can go ahead and keep on watching. Thank you guys. All right, y'all. So I'm going to take y'all literally through my entire beauty routine. So the first thing I always do is a prep spray. And my current favorite prep spray, which it surprised me that I like it that much, is the ColourPop 4th Ray Beauty Mellow Milk Calming Mist. I don't know why this thing works so good. I've had so many prep sprays from the B6, from Urban Decay, to the, what is it called, the um, Hangover RX 3-in-1 spray from Too Faced. I've had so many of those that are way more expensive than this, and I don't like them this much. This, from the day I used it, I'll put a card up if you guys don't remember it, but since the day I use it, I was absolutely obsessed with this thing. It's so, so, so good. So we're going to start with that. Right now, my face is completely bare. I just have some moisturizer, of course, toner and all that good stuff. So that's what I've used so far. Okay, I will tell y'all two things. Next in my beauty routine is usually my eyeshadow primer. I don't have an issue with any of my eyeshadow primers currently, but... Oh, sorry, guys. My mom and my sister are downstairs if you hear them talking. So I have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24-Hour Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer, and I also have the Smashbox 24-Hour Photo Finish um, Primer. I think I'm going to actually use this one. I know that it's my, like, absolute favorite. Like, I would die without it, but, like, it's good. It's probably, of the ones I have right now, this is probably my absolute favorite. Um, I usually use the Lorac Pro Primer, but it's just I have so many of them. That I don't mind because if I run out of it, I'll have more. But I like the texture of it. It's almost, it feels more like the professional pour primer. That's what it kind of feels like before the eyes. Like it has a really good texture. And this is actually, if I remember correctly, this is the first expensive eyeshadow primer I actually ever owned. Because it came with my first ever expensive prestige brand eyeshadow primer, which was the Smashbox Double Exposure Primer. Smashbox, I feel like it's kind of falling off, but like this primer, oh my god, I love it so much. Okay, so next, another little store. I know I keep giving y'all stories, but there's reasons behind all of this. So this is my eyebrow drawer caddy. I don't know what to call it. This is my all-time favorite eyebrow pencil, like precise pencil to carve out my lid. It's this one, the Precisely My Brow from Benefit Cosmetics. It is just so, so, so good. I will show y'all my favorite eye brow product of all time is the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. I love this thing. It has a little push for each one of them, but the two shades I use to actually do my eyebrow have run out, so I'm not going to use this today, so I'm going to do my the rest of my brows off camera because it's not my favorite, um, but if you guys want a list of everything else I'm going to be doing that I don't feature on camera, like stuff that is not my favorite favorite, I'm going to list all of those down below. But, um, and the only reason I haven't replaced this one is I don't think they make it anymore, which is horrible. I don't know how this didn't, this didn't do better. It's such a good one. Now, when I did review it the first time, I didn't like it. I'm going to, again, I'll, I'll put a card for everything that I've reviewed. I'll put a card for it up there as I'm talking. I want to keep going back and saying that. But the first time I reviewed it, I did not like it. I could not stand that product, but it's a really good... Now that I've used it and messed with it enough, I really, really like it. So I'm going to use the spoolie part of the Benefit Precisely My Brow. And the reason I like this one, I just like that it goes on so smooth. It's super precise. Let me show you what it looks like. That's why it's called Precisely My Brow. And I use it in shade 5. It's super duper skinny, and I really like to use it just to kind of carve out my eyebrow first. Like outline it. So I can make sure I got the shape right before I start actually like going in, you know. And y'all know I feel like Benefit gets slept on a lot for their brow. Everybody's always on Anastasia's jock, but like, dude, Benefit, I know they have the brow bar at Ulta, so somebody is, 
understanding what I'm saying, but I just really, really don't think they get enough pop. So I use five. I've used five since the first time I've ever used this product. And this product, funnily enough, the first time I used it, I was in love with it. The Goof Proof Brow Pencil is good too, but so just, um, yeah, like I said, I don't feel like they've gotten enough props. The Precisely My Brows, like the bomb, it goes on super smooth. And when you're doing your brows, you don't want any skips because that could like undo. Like y'all see how much pressure I'm applying? Like hardly any and it slides. Cool. So my brows are now done. Again, this is this is my favorite. That's definitely one of my favorites. It's just such a good. I've had, and, and since the day I used it, it was my favorite. So I'm gonna go off camera and do my the rest of my brows and carve them out and all that. And I'll be back with you guys to talk about my favorite eyeshadow palette, which I'm pretty sure we already know what that is, but I'll be back to talk to y'all about that in a minute. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So I'm back and I already kind of started using this, but I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette currently. And this is the Ciate London I Am Woman What's Your Superpower eyeshadow palette. So I got this in my first ever BoxyCharm. It was actually my gift for joining BoxyCharm. And literally since the first time I used it, I was completely in love and enamored with it. The concept is great. The product is outstanding. I just really, really love this stuff. So it says to all the amazing women, we see you, we hear you, we celebrate you. I mean, y'all, first of all. I don't care that much for this like packaging part, but look at the shades. The shades are beautiful. They're each named after a different woman that made some sort of a difference. Um, and I just absolutely love them. Like the swatch, let me swatch a couple. Let me swatch Ella Fitzgerald because I think that's what I'm using today. The shimmers are like wet shimmers, like this Junko shade. That's the shade I'm wearing this for tonight because I'm gonna be wearing this because my outfit is lavender for my birthday dinner. So I'm probably going to be doing this here. Look at that. So gorgeous. Transition shades are beautiful. I just, I really, 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 really love this palette. They're super smooth going on. They blend like a dream. And I just, I'm completely obsessed with this palette. So this one, for sure, no doubt, is my favorite palette right now. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my look off with this palette. And then we'll come back to talk about liners and mascaras because I have a favorite of those two. Okay guys, so I am back with my color correct concealer on. There are a couple things I did while I was gone because my mom was in here and she was on the phone. Everyone's been hanging out with me on my birthday today, which is awesome. But anyway, so I want to go over a couple of favorites that I did use while I was off camera. Um, one, the glitter primer from NYX. I did use it on my eyes today. Y'all see how beautiful this glitter primer is. The thing is, it's under $10. Y'all can see I love it so much. I broke the tip off. And kept it. Every time I use it, I literally just poke a new hole in it. And I'll just use it again because I love it that much. It is just such a good glitter primer. Now, I will say, the Ciate London eyeshadow palette I'm using, my favorite eyeshadow palette, probably doesn't need it. But just to ensure my glitter, because I am I have a birthday dinner later tonight and I want to make sure everything stays put just like it is. Then I do have, I didn't mention that I was going to be talking about tools in here, but I am going to anyway because... That's such a big part of makeup that I don't think people take into consideration. So I want to talk about this NYX crease brush, y'all. This freaking NYX crease brush is my favorite crease brush of all time. I've said it multiple times on multiple videos. It's just so good. I don't know why or how I used it today. But anyway, so um, yeah, so this is that NYX crease brush. Again, this one, I think it's more than $10, but it's certainly not like, you know, artist couture or anything like that prices. Really, 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 really sleeper hit of a crease brush. I have not used another one since then. I've bought more, um, but I just don't use them because that one is so good. Like, I'm terrified for when, I'm, when it's going to run out, and it will at some point. Next, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Waterproof Cream Color in Jet. This is what I used for my eyeliner tonight, um, today, and into tonight. It's just freaking beautiful it goes on super smooth no skips it is like a gel eyeliner but it is a cream it's more soft than that and it stays put i don't know how it's super soft when it goes on but it doesn't move around after you apply it i don't know like i said i don't know why um my color correct concealers there's nothing really mind boggling nothing really exciting there so i didn't need, I, I didn't mention any of those because foundation primer though this a, another one that i've mentioned multiple times i love the Too faced hangover replenishing primer hydration 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 it is super duper soft i've used this for years it has been my favorite primer for years 
I stray and check out other stuff and try other stuff. And for certain looks, like depending on the foundation, like I use the Comfort Matte Foundation usually when I'm using a matte. I mean the Comfort Matte um, from Too Faced. I think it's the Sweet Peach Comfort Matte Cooling Primer. I use that when I use a matte foundation. If I need a more dewier look, I'll use a more dewier foundation. But this is my favorite. I keep saying foundation, y'all. I really mean primer. This is my favorite primer, though, and I'm looking at it in the light. It's starting to run out, and I am... I don't want to run out of this. I really, really love this. Next, I have the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Lip Balm very balm with natural tint okay this again came in a boxy charm box my first boxy charm box I actually can see it's almost out literally since the first time i've used it it has not left my handbag it is so good i will even show y'all if y'all look i don't know if y'all can see it on the camera but i cracked it like this whole top part is cracked so some comes out the middle y'all see that don't care i will wipe it like this completely off of the thing apply it to my lips it sinks in immediately it tastes amazing which i know you're not supposed to be eating your products but if something is on your lips you are going to taste it at some point it's so good in fact my mom actually had to borrow some one night i don't remember what we were doing we were at her house she kissed my dad when he was leaving because they always kiss each other bye and hello whatever sure but anyway um so they uh he got in the car, drove away, and called her and said, what was that you had on your lips? That's how good it tastes. Like, insane. That's gross and it's weird, but it's the truth. So, yeah, I'm almost out of this, and I have a ton of lip balms, but this one, from the first time I used it, I was obsessed with it, and I have never taken it out of my makeup bag, which I'm putting in there right now. Never taken it out of my makeup bag since then. Next, I want to talk about the my favorite mascara of all time. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. I've used little ones. This is my first actual full size one. I've always used trials. I applied it earlier and curled it earlier and all that, but I want to do a second coat just for your natural lashes. I like to use mascaras that come with primer. So the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir and the Velvet Primer, the Subversion Primer and Perversion Mascara from um, Urban Decay, Monsieur Big from Lancome. I love those kinds of, with a primer, but this doesn't even freaking need a primer. If you just have a curler, originally I tried this as a sample from um, Ipsy when I was an Ipster, and I just, look at that, that's my natural lashes. Now this is a second coat and it's curled already. I mean, that's real lashes. And I was planning to wear falsies tonight, but I don't know that I really need to because these are just, my natural lashes right now are like beyond. Like this has been my favorite mascara for a couple of years now like I said I do stray and go with like the um really love the Marc Jacobs at lash that's a good foundation but I mean why do I keep saying foundation mascara but I um always go back to if I'm just using just a mascara on its own it will always be the roller lash all right so time for foundation another one that has been a goat for me for quite some time is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation so I have currently the matte version of it. I do prefer the regular version. I don't know how I came across the matte version, but I have so many foundations right now. I really, really don't want to spend money on another one, being that I have so many really good ones to work through. So I'm going to wait till I run out before I buy another one. But this is so good. It's just beautiful. Every time I wear it, I get complimented on it. Every time I wear it, someone asks me, they never ask, and that's the thing with a good foundation. I've never been asked, what foundation are you wearing? I always have people say, what are you doing with your skin? Your skin looks so pretty today. This stuff, so good. I use the shade Honey. I actually use um, Warm Honey or Warm Sand most of the time, but, you know, I just, I'm obsessed with this. So, let me go ahead and apply this with you guys real quick. I did bring a couple of goodies with me, so I don't have to carry a whole thing. Let's see how it applies with this. I don't remember using it. This is the brush that came with it. It's just a Too Faced brush, so don't judge if it doesn't look good because I don't usually use it like this. Yeah, see that? And it's like, I have used different shades. I don't know how it does it. It calls itself an undetectable foundation. I guess Too Faced calls it an undetectable foundation. But, dude, I mean, it just makes you look, it makes your skin look beautiful. The coverage, I believe it's called a medium coverage foundation. But for me, that's like the most I want. I never need a full coverage foundation. And I just absolutely adore it. This is my favorite foundation and has been, again, since it came out. They had a sale at Ulta one time and I was dying to try it. Because everyone was just ranting and raving about this foundation. 
So I wanted to try it so, so bad. And when I did, I absolutely was in love with it. And I have never changed my mind. I have had really good foundations. The Marc Jacob Extra Shot is really good. I really love that foundation. But even that Marc Jacobs Extra Shot, nowhere near comparison to the Too Faced Born This Way. I don't think we need to get that deep into like the application part of this. But I just want y'all to see how it goes on just so y'all can see why she's my favorite. I don't know how people do monthly favors. Like, who changes all that, all of that that much? Like, uh, when I found a foundation that I love, like this one, I love it to death. And I love it until, I don't know, it takes a really long time for me to find something else that I love this much. Um, I do also want to mention a, another tool, the Aricelli Bella Sponges. Again, these came from BoxyCharm. I love these because they get into every little crevice that you could possibly have and they're multiple use. Like I'm going to use them to put my foundation into little cracks where you can't really get to them. I even wet them. They are so spongy, which I know again, I said this when I reviewed it. I know that sounds crazy to say that something is so spongy, but some sponges are really freaking hard. And I don't know if that's just a price point thing, like because I've always used really cheap sponges. I'll be honest with y'all. I use cheap ass sponges. But I wanted, when I got those in BoxyCharm, that was another BoxyCharm find. When I got those in BoxyCharm and I tried them, I was like, oh my God, if this is what happens, then like I'm going to have to step up my game with um, Beauty Sponge Game because it's insane. So next I'm going to do my correcting concealer. Not correcting because color correcting sounds like one thing. But I mean like the concealer that's your skin tone. You know what I mean? Not a highlighter or contour concealer. I'm going to be using the Benefit Industrial Strength Boing Concealer. Now, I will be honest with y'all, my absolute favorite is the Benefit Boing Concealer, like just the original one. And I have another one somewhere, but I have a little concealer container, and it's absolutely full. I do not want to add any more concealer, so I'm trying to work through the ones I already have. And since this is the sister to the Boing, it's called the Airbrush Concealer, the Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer. I am in love with that entire line. They have a hydrating, they have this industrial strength, and the industrial strength is supposed to be like to cover scars like I'm doing right here with my scar I've had since I was seven years old. I have a brightening one. There is a hydrating one. They are just really, really good concealers. And because of the Born This Way, I don't really have to do too much else like with my chin and everything. So that's that. And in the Benefit Industrial Strength Boy Con Boing Concealer, I am number two is my shade. In there. Um, let me buff this in a little bit. This little, I'm just using the same foundation sponge just in case I have some foundation left on it. Y'all, that eyeshadow though, I'm just. Seattle London, y'all are crazy. Like y'all are, y'all are really crazy for that. Y'all are wild. Y'all are freaking wild. All right, so now I want to use the what is my where's my uh cream contour? Wait, I'm off camera. I hate talking to y'all. I'm off camera. Hold on a sec. So it's just a really really good um cream contour, even though it is technically a foundation. Super cheap, super good. I'm not I always say cheap. What I mean by cheap, guys, is inexpensive. I will never tell you that something is cheap because that seems like it's not a good quality. And this is a really good quality product. So Ulta Beauty Moisturizing Foundation Stick. I don't know if they even make this anymore. I actually got this as a redemption for free a while back. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's the shape of the stick or if it's the... It's just super creamy. I like how you can just apply it straight to where you need it. And again, it's not sold as a cream contour. It is sold as a foundation. I just got a deep shade. When I got it for free, I was like, let me just go check what's up. I had a coupon to go try it out. And I was like, let me go check what's up with this. And then if I don't like it, it was free, so I don't have to lose anything. But it just applies really good. Y'all see that? It just applies really well. I really, really like it. And I'm going to go with my Arcelli Beauty Sponge, this one right here. And I'm just going to break that down. I'm going to use my little mirror from my glam station. See how good it, it just, it's just, I don't know if it's because it's a moisturizing stick. It's super emollient or what's the deal with it, but it just goes on just really, really well. It blends out really good. And it gives like a natural contour. It's not like a straight up like, oh my God. But I'm going to be cream highlighting with the Tarte Shape Tape Contouring Concealer. This crap for under the eyes. That orange, the reason I wasn't worried about it is because that, that um, not contour, that shape tape eats up. It destroys it. It ruins it. It kills its life. It is amazing the way it blends it out so smoothly. 
All right, let's shape the tape. So the shape tape, again, contouring concealer. Y'all are familiar with it. This is YouTube. Y'all already know everybody and their mama uses this. There's sometimes there are some products that don't live up to the hype or there's no reason for the hype. The Shape Tape Concealer, I think, definitely lives up to it. The only thing is, if you don't feel like blending, you need to get a color that's really close to your skin tone because it is so hardcore that like it's kind of difficult to blend out and it will leave you white casted and make you look kind of crazy. So I literally just do this. I've watched girls do this where they go like whoosh, whoosh, and with Shape Tape, and I'm like, how can you do that with Shape Tape? Shape Tape is so hardcore and it spreads so much and a little goes such a long way. Like, see, that's all I'm going to do on my chin. I don't need any more than that. That's already kind of a lot to me. That's actually probably more than I need. A little bit on the nose. As my cousin calls it, the tree of life here. And here, I would do any other dark spots that need to be done. A little tiny bit above my lip, too, just to make sure we're good. And in the Tarte Shape Tape, just for those that need to know, those of you that are close to my skin tone, 35 medium is the shade that I use. So, going in with the Arcelli Beauty Sponge, and I'm going to dip. Yeah, see that? So just that little tiny bit. Y'all see how much that took away? I mean, it just, I love shape tape. Like concealer in general, if I had to pick one concealer to use for the rest of my life, it would definitely be shape tape. And the only reason I put that little piece at the end, y'all, is just, I'm, I'm sure y'all know this already, but it's really just to um, clean up my line down there a little bit. So just blending and buffing. I actually didn't even wet this sponge, by the way, just so y'all know. That's the other one. This is the lavender one. I didn't even spray it. If I notice that I'm looking crackly, then I'll do it. Which is another reason I don't really care for matte foundations that much. But the Too Faced Born This Way is so good, I will take that thing in any formulation you have. You could say it's like rice formula, and it's like little rice beads. If it will stick to my face and look like this, then we are <laughs> going to rice it up, honey. This is my favorite current blush. Okay. It is the Tarte beachy cream blush in pink sky can i show y'all okay can i show y'all can we talk about it look at this crap that perfect 20 goldy kind of blush but the reason i like this is i find a lot of those um blushes that i like those like sandy color like goldy brush blushes a lot of them currently to me have too much like shimmer in it like I need a blush and not a highlight I know sometimes people do like to have them together I personally do not like if I ask you for a blush I need a blush I'm not asking you for a highlight don't give me a highlight I don't want one I like this because it has it's like matte like it dries down even though it's a cream blush it dries down really well I'm gonna actually use a little beauty blender sponge so I'm gonna use a tiny I'm gonna go with the pointy part of the blush of the sponge and just get a little bit because like that's kind of a lot actually so I'm gonna smile a little bit here y'all see that it is literally just like a hey oh I'm shy I'm blushing very quiet just a cute little flush again that is the Tarte breezy cream blush and I am gonna have everything down below I'm not gonna link everything but because there's just so many products to go through it's gonna figure fill out my um, my description box so I'm not gonna do that but I am gonna link everything if you guys want to check it out I am going to do one more thing because I wanted to show you guys this product, this tool. This is a steel mascara lash comb from Paris Hilton. Got this at freaking Ross. So Paris Hilton, if y'all don't know, Paris Hilton has like everything at Ross. She sells robes, she sells shoes, she sells all of these beauty things and they're super duper cheap. And this came in a set with a curler that I threw away. The curler was absolute crap. But this comb, y'all, if you're doing layers and layers of mascara like I usually do, this comb gets through them and separates it. So those spidery lashes, it just kind of eliminates those. And I am absolutely in total and complete love. All right, y'all, I'm back. So the vast majority of my look is now done. All of the wet ingredients are done. I just want to draw y'all attention to my lashes again and remind y'all that this is no primer no uh, falsies literally just roller lash with a curler and a steel comb that moist that moisturizer that freaking mascara is the best mascara ever and that's never going to change so um let's get to the rest of the look so we are going to do because i'm actually running out of time what time is it 
My dinner is at 7 and it's about 6 o'clock and I didn't even get dressed yet. The first thing, my favorite bronzer is the Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced Medium Slash Deep Matte Bronzer. This bronzer, y'all, I have now tried. This was like one of the earlier bronzers I ever tried. I have now tried Anastasia, which is good. These bronzers, the other bronzers are not. It, they, picking a bronzer was difficult. Bronzer, highlight, and lipsticks were difficult to pick because I just have so many really good ones. So I'm going to go with the Too Faced one, though. That's my favorite, I think, because it's matte. It doesn't have a lot of shimmer in it. Now, the Soleil Gold is also pretty. It just depends on what look you're going for. So I'm going to use the Shani Buff Bronzer Brush just to apply that. And I'm going to start kind of in the corner and build it up like this. Yeah, and that's the thing with it. You can, like, hardly see it, and that's what I want. I don't like that, like, you know... Fake bronze. I love Ariana Grande, but that Ariana Grande really fake over the top bronzer. Almost like to the point where it's like a tanner. I don't like that. So and maybe it's because my skin is actually bronze. I just like to look a little warmed. And this does it so well. So I'm doing is kind of following where I put my contour on the cheeks and then taking it up to the temples. I did it on the other side underneath my chin. I don't do that every time, but I guess it's my birthday and I'm turning 35, so let's snatch it, snatch, snatch. I'm not going to do my nose or anything like that because it's a bronzer. It's not a con uh, powder contour, but y'all see that? So I adore this. This is a good bronzer. So for my waterline, I'm going to use the ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner in the side Extra Frosting. I like this because, one, it's super smooth, so if you're going to be tight lining the inner... Well, not I guess it's not tight lining. Tight lining is at the top, but... If you're going to be doing the inner rim of your eye, I like this one because it's not white. Sometimes the white looks kind of weird. It goes on really, really smooth. See, it just opens your eye just a little bit, but it doesn't look weird. It's not like super duper white where you're like, whoa, that's like, girl, you got a lot going on here. Even that, it doesn't have like the wood around it. It's just like just the pigment part. And I absolutely adore that. So, so next up, we have my favorite blinding highlight. It used to be the Kylie Jenner, the Kylie Cosmetics website, website, wet set for a really, really long time, and then came Jaclyn. So this is the Jaclyn Hill Loose Highlighter. I think it's called a Beaming Light Highlighter, but it doesn't say that on here. This is in the shade Extra. It is like a super bright white, kind of goldy, but mostly whitey shade. It's like, y'all, this is like birthday approved, and that's it. You can't, like, I wouldn't wear this anywhere else. Look at that. It is just so stunning. It's a powder highlight, but it looks wet. Look at that. Y'all saw how much I just put. I literally swirled my finger around. So what I usually do with this is I apply it with my finger, and then I go back and buff it out with a brush. Just because if you do it with a brush, it's going to be so much highlight all over the place. It is super finely milled. I don't know what they did. I don't know how they did it, but... This thing, oh my god, it's so good. So I'm going to put a little on the cupid's bow, even though I didn't do my lipstick yet. I'm going to. So this is how I'll apply it. This is a little bit pricey, but y'all, also look at the packaging. I mean, the packaging is... I'm not the biggest Jaclyn Hill fan, I'll tell y'all that off top. Actually, I don't even really like her, but this powder... Hi, look at that, look at that. Look at how it's like fading. It's like melts. Melts into the skin, I'm telling... Look at that! Are you kidding me? This is one of my favorite, it's my favorite highlighter, but it's also one of my favorite products of all time. And again, if you followed me for a while, if you know anything about this channel, y'all know I adored the Kylie Cosmetics Wet Set for so long. But this, especially because I can apply it dry, so after I bake, I can, <clears throat> so after I bake, I can apply it, the proof is in my cheek. Like, girl, look at that. Oh my god, so pretty. It works to me. I don't know what skin tone it wouldn't work on because if you're um if you have a deeper skin tone, then that color is going to pop even more on you. Look at it. Look at it. So pretty. And I love a bright highlight. I know some people don't like bright blinding highlights like they like that lip from within glow. Nope, I don't play that. I need you to be like Pow, she's got a highlighter on. And I mean, I have YSL, I have Gucci, I have expensive high-end brands, and they don't compare to that one. It's just beautiful. The only thing is, it can get messy really quick. 
So just be careful with it. But if you're a consenting adult like I am, then you'll be good to go. Okay, next we have my favorite lippy of all time. I know I've said this a hundred times, but y'all, the Kylie Cosmetics Candy K Lip Kit. I love it so much as a matter of fact that I am going to have to get rid of my actual lipstick because I'll tell y'all why. I've had it forever. Y'all can see the packaging is the old, like original, original packaging. I love it so much. Look how small the lip liner is. I've had this thing for so long. So the lipstick, the matte lipstick started to dry out a little. So what did I do? I put almond oil in because I would, I did not want to lose this <laughs> lipstick at all. But it's not, it's just the formula. I messed it up by dropping that stuff in it. I should have just let it go and just rebought it when I could. But I did find a good backup. I'm still going to use the liner, but just know this is my favorite matte liquid lipstick of all time. This combo here, the Lip Kit of Candy K, crazy. So I got to get rid of this. I don't want to. But I did find a very close match to it, which is Oh Rye Rye by Ofra Cosmetics. It was a Ofra Cosmetics with Madison Miller, who I don't know who that is. I really honestly do not care. This came by way of Ipsy, I think, when I was an Ipster. And I just love this color because it's so similar to Candy K. So let me, so if you're looking, I was going to say for a dupe, but actually I think the Candy K is cheaper than the Ofra. But Kylie's lip liners, Kylie's lip liners and ColourPop, I know there's, um, conspiracy theories that they're made by the same people. I don't know. I just know both them bitches can make a good ass liner. So I'm going to use the Candy K lip liner. It's just the best nude ever. Just the best pink nude. Like when I see myself in pictures smiling with Candy K on my lips, it just, I'm always like, what lipstick was that? What lips? Like I have to go back and look at what lipstick it was. My lips, I already used that lip balm earlier when I went over it with you guys and I let it set a little bit. Because a little tip if you like matte liquid lips, I know people say they're out, but I love a matte liquid lip and I will not give that up. I am sorry. I love a matte liquid lip so much. If you use a matte liquid lipstick, any matte probably I would assume, if you use a lip balm, give it some time to set in because if not, it'll make your lips slippery and it won't stick as long. It won't stay as long. It won't sit right. Like don't ever judge a formula if you're using lip balm and the crazy thing with that is you have to use lip balm for a matte because no matter what it is no matter what the brand is it will dry your lips out it is a matte that is the reason so i'll just use this one now that is the reason that's how it becomes matte so this is the ofra oh rye 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 or the collab with madison miller this is getting old too it's like so goopy i don't care i wish i did but i don't look at that oh delicious mattes i just love matte lipsticks I refuse to believe that she... This one too? A2 Brute? Why are all my matte liquid lipsticks running out, dude? All my favorites. I guess because I wear them a lot. That makes sense. I still got Truffle, though, I think, from Dose of Color. So that's... I love. It's like a pinkier matte. But this, she on her last leg too, girl. What is going on? I guess, like I said, because I, I truly do... If I'm going to tell y'all something is my favorite, that means I've used the crap out of this. Speaking of which, Becca. Let's talk about Becca. So this sucks because Becca's actually no longer a company anymore. The Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in Pink Haze. This is my favorite, like, setting powder to set with. And that was a hard one because I have a lot of good setting powders, y'all. But this, I don't know what it is about the pink that sets it off, but something about it, that pink just makes your skin just look like, almost like it's, like, glowing. Like, it sets everything. I don't know if it corrects some kind of color or what it does, but it's just good. I always apply it with this little um, brush I got from TJ Maxx years ago. It just gives an all over brightening look because like my migraines cause me to get like a dark undercast under my eye. And so having something that instantly brings a brightness to it, like tonight going out right now, I'm fine, but I have headaches every day. So I'm sure at some point it's going to come back. I don't have to look like Coraline, which is what I look like when I'm a headache most of the time. So yeah, I love this. This stuff is really good. And I got it on sale at TJ Maxx. It was like, I think it was 20 bucks. I got it a while back, but it's just such a good all over face powder. Look at my lips. So bummed. I'm going to probably have to get rid of that other one too. That oh, right, right, right. I really don't want to get rid of my. So anyway, yeah, that sucks. But this is my favorite lip, lippy and she has to go candy cane. I just love you so much. You have served me very well, ma'am. You have been with me through the trenches. We're in the trenches. So that's the Becca. My last thing, of course, is a setting spray. And I will tell y'all, it was hard. It was a battle between this and the Tarte Stay Spray. But I'm going to go with my original favorite, the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. 
So this is, y'all know the famed um, all-nighter setting spray. This is just like the oil control version of it because I get really oily around my nose and my chin, like right here especially. That's where I bake and everything too because that's where I get a lot of oil. This stuff, y'all, I've gotten caught in the straight up pouring down rain. I actually try to post a picture if I have it because I took a picture and posted it on Instagram that day because it was so crazy. My hair was soaking wet. I got caught in a major downpour, Louisiana. And my hair was sopping soaking wet and my makeup was flawless why urban decay so i'm going to use this because it's going to be a long night all nighter so i'm almost i'm almost out of this. what is going on i'm almost out of this too somebody breaking in and stealing all my stuff yes yeah, so i'm gonna just all right i'm gonna go through all my hoops i'm gonna let this sit a little while i'm gonna go through all my hoops i'm going to uh, go do a couple of it um, other things, zhuzh up my hair a little bit because it's really, really flat. Hit it with a little bit of dry shampoo. All right, guys, so this is my finished face for the favorites look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you guys for joining me on my birthday. It is literally my actual physical birthday when I am shooting this. It is um, 35 years that I have orbited around the sun at this point, which is pretty awesome. It's crazy to think that I am 35 years old. But, um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate you guys spending a little chunk of my birthday with me. Real quick, this is going to post after my birthday, obviously, because I'm shooting it on my birthday, and y'all already know how editing is with me. But um, I do really want to thank everyone for the birthday wishes and just the likes and the views and all that stuff. Thank every single one of you guys for subscribing. I really, truly do appreciate it. This is a dream of mine I've had from a young age. At first it was blogging and now it's YouTube, which is a lot easier by the way. And this is the most successful I've been, even though it may not be successful to a lot of people. It's super successful to me and it's a really big deal to me. And I really, really, really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to come over to my channel and watch my opinions and just listen to me talk about things. And it just really means the world to me. So I really want to thank you guys for that as well as for all the well wishes. Um... It was a tough year. It's been a couple tough years in a row. Um, aside from what's going on with the world with my headaches, and they've been worse since 2016. It's just been like bad, 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 bad. Last year I had a really, really good birthday, and this year I think it's going to be just as good, if, if not better. And I just really, again, want to thank you guys with all my heart for spending some time with me. So, anyway, um, all of my favorite products that I tried out today, I'm going to list every single thing down below. There's a couple products I didn't try out on camera or I didn't use on camera. I'm going to link those as well. It's going to be like under the supporting. If you guys want to see my uh, glam in real time, including what I wear tonight for my birthday, I because it's special. I'm really excited about it. I've been holding this outfit for like months. <laughs> Hopefully I still can fit it. So you can follow that on my Instagram page. which is going to be right here. And you can also check out my Twitter page for... I've been binge watching Real Housewives of Atlanta the last season. I've been binge watching the crap out of that. It is a wild season like crazy. So I've been talking about that over there. Also I've been talking about my birthday and WWE stuff and all that other kind of stuff on my Twitter page which is going to be right here. I'm going to also have linked down below my cousin's Instagram who made this beautiful birthday girl shirt for me. I absolutely adore it. Thank you so much Megan. I really love this top. It's very cute. So I'm going to link her down below too if you guys want to check her out because she made this specifically for me to wear two days before I got ready to go to my dinner. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, everything else is going to be linked down below. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys next time you get glam. On my birthday, if you want to get birthday glam, you can come over here and get glam with Marty. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Love you guys again. Thank you again. Thank you so, so, so much. Bye.